All right, so I'm gonna take a look at this here. Uh, I downloaded that from YouTube, but it gave me some weird artifacts. Um, so it's actually hard to see. It would be better if you could send that uh, as separate clips. Can't really frame through to look at this, but I see, I watched it and I see the progression. There's definitely, there's definitely good stuff here, even though it's, um, you know the clip too. There's good, um, the weight distribution is good, that this is not off balance. It's just a bit, you know, harsh in how it pops to a stop. But now these are just different versions. Again, same thing in terms of the weight is good, where this is landing over the feet in order to get up. I think here it starts to be too slidey in the root. Unless there are hands here that will pull the character forward. This is just kind of weird how it slides forward. It will be a stronger pivot off of the root that stays here. So you might have to start here already and not be this far back. Again, it's just a technical thing with how things just kind of pop and lock and step, it's kind of stepped into uh, the final pose. This is a bit too far. I'll probably rest around here, maybe here. And then going to this one, like it's a bit better, but this is still a bit wonky. I'm not sure what's going on here. You have another kind of a sliding move to the left uh you know screen left you know going back and then forward i would still keep this fairly locked there can be some residual movement for some keep alive for some final polish but it just gets a bit too slidey and same thing here you would i would go and snap forward and keep this here and it's that momentum that snap forward that will give the root enough lift and then it's the the legs that can push character up this gets a bit too bang, hitting a wall here if you put a line right there bang, it doesn't have enough overshooting back it's a bit too harsh in its change of direction and all of these have some harsh pops in the legs how they extend and then go back into a bend and then we have attempt number four now I have this downloaded through there. I'm gonna look at this here. So this is the the stepped version. For this one, I would also add a cube here or anything that gives us a good look at what is the actual surface. Because here it looks like that's the ground, but then it, is it intersecting? But then it looks like, wait, are we going down? Now going up, okay? And then as the character goes forward, now we're actually lower than this. It's just a bit confusing. So for yourself, really keep that consistent with a visual representation of that because I would still keep the feet on the floor there. Feels a bit off balancey where we're not over enough. That it's it's a bit of a struggle. You're off balance there so for the character to come forward could work. So that's why I'm gonna look at the stepped uh, the spline version. And looking at this there are a couple things. A, again, the sliding root, I will keep that fairly locked. Then, well, what I said before, just the surface should be always referenced in terms of just the visuals so we know where, we, where we're at here. Watch out, you got, again, that extension, overextension of the legs, and you can see it here, how the foot goes up. This is an, ex an extended IK controller, and even if the toes get off the ground a bit and they come back down, and you can again see the pop there in the legs. Then we have that where we off balance and it's a, it's a slow rise as well, where we we have a couple like sp almost spacing pops where it's kind of small and it suddenly gets bigger and then gets really big. But then after that, it's suddenly small going up this way, fairly straight. And being so off balance here, this I'm not quite buying. I would take out probably a couple frames out of this section here especially to get that snap like you have your initial yeah, go forward but then there's a bit of a slowdown through here where it makes this a bit less believable and then your forward swing to me is a bit a bit far and a bit too strong you're also ending on a specific line here boom again where it feels a bit like it hits a wall it's not as much as the other ones but still a bit harsh, and then it gets really harsh through there. This is definitely a linear key 
where the rotations, either in the chest or definitely the head, bang, come to a sudden stop there. So if you look at this, you have to look at, this is more of a stomp that doesn't really do anything for the character to go forward. It only does something on the getting up through here. So if the character is this far back, I'd be curious to see your reference, how this plays out in terms of when you sit there like that and you are swinging forward. To me, it feels like we would wait before we get up here. So it's more like I'm going to just snap my body forward. And that could just be the stomping would just be kind of like an added momentum thing of down and forward. But then I would stay there and then have your body really go forward. And there might just be something where you are more like this. And then you might have to take a step forward. And if you want to stay just like that with the legs, I would still keep this fairly locked and then just go a bit more forward. And then it could be a rise where it's more arching back. I'm massively exaggerating, but you would fall forward because of such a, a swing forward with your, with your upper body. And that's why there would be a really big arching back to counter this, to stay like that. And that's why we end up in this pose with this. That to me would make more sense. And only at the very end would you go on your tippy toes. So that to me would be just animation wise, it would be that. But I think you mentioned that you started to copy some shots you saw somewhere. Let me just see the, the email there. Um, and then you recorded yourself and that's what you're using. So I would love to see a picture in picture to see what your references, what your mechanics actually are. Alrighty. Going back to this, though, if I look at the progression. It's almost like this one is a bit more successful in how far forward your character moves. So if I go through here, see that you can see. Still, I would I'm gonna change tools here. I would still lock this down here. So that when your character, hold on. It's YouTube here. That's why it's a bit of a pain. I'm not going to frame through. So it's... Imagine your root is still locked on that cube. This still feels better where it's... It's going over the feet. And now the getting up would have to be, like I said, going back like that to reduce the fall forward. Like This still has a feeling of you're really snapping forward and then going straight up and back versus that forward momentum would still somewhere continue... And you would have to counter that with a lean back. I feel like progression wise, actually the earlier ones are to me a bit more successful in terms of, again, the weight distribution. See how far we are over the feet. And this is a, a less of a snap forward. It's just fast, but this feels like, well, if we slow this down a bit, it's just a pose adjustment with a bit of a pause here. And now we're getting up with an arching of the back and into a straight. Like that seems actually more successful this one again feels more like all right well let me lean over the feet for center of gravity here and now get up into this like that is also fairly successful this one gets a bit trickier like i said with the sliding root and all that forward momentum and then going back with that harsh hit there so i think this is less successful actually and then when you look at this one you still got the sliding root and i feel what's What's a bit more successful here is the the back and forth swing in terms of how the body momentum, like that rise here, forward, uh, back, like that. Despite some of the harsh hits in terms of linear keys, this back and forward, I think, has a nice feel to it. But it's still not quite as balanced as this in terms of where the body is. For me, it's one and two are more successful. Yeah, three gets a bit wonky there. So I feel like four is a bit better towards the end than three. But generally, in terms of the weight and how this works, um, in terms of mechanics, I think two is the most successful one. And then three is probably the least successful one. But four still has a few problems. So let me pause it. And just quickly going in there, I'm just curious 
if that is, is that the hip here? Is that the root? Okay. So if we have moving through there, so what if we actually would keep it here? I'm gonna just take all that off just to see. See that in a way already feels a bit more successful. Just in terms of how the root stays put, we're going back, and again I would I'm gonna see if this is your lowest point here. So I haven't really worked this rig yet. What is this? Okay, these are the ones. And you want to stay there, okay? So you have this and this, and that is the actual low position here on 30, okay? And you have this going up here. So what if I take this and delete that here? Actually, my timeline is below, below this. I just took 30, copied it over to here and deleted what's before here. And now you can see how, and again, we can make this it's strange what's going on in this model. It's actually not just the compression. That's some weird, oh, it's a nerves. Interesting. Okay. It's probably like the, I just hit one on the, on the keyboard here. Keep that like this. So maybe you can do it like that. So to me, what I would do is, and where is your cube? That's your box here in the channel. If I take this and we can just do a quick change to that. And then you can always take this and take these just for, you know, for visual sake. Again, rough, but have it like that. So now when you have the feet locked, it's more like, ugh. that to me feels just a bit better with the uh, with the locked roots. You can see this here that we're probably too high. I just check it out, yes, the roots. I will bring this just a bit here, can intersect a little bit, but so it's, uh, that's just in terms of where the feet are. They're on the same spot here, here, and at the beginning. And you can always have some, you know, polishy stuff on the roof, but generally I will go about it like that. But then here, it's almost like you want from here to here. What if we are actually more like this, gets into this, but you're really trying to compensate and that's why you're going back. But then you can see how I would stay in this a bit longer. If you're extending the shot, then it would have to use I don't have a, a, a picker here. I don't think there's any animation on there, but if we could, this might be too rough, but if I take this here and you want to stay in here a bit longer, if I just move this out and you hold, 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 and then you go forward. And even here, let me see. This might even be a bit longer. Hold is a bit longer and then back. And again, this one is a bit too fast as well. I'm just roughly doing this here. And again, I'm going to move this here so you can see I'm starting at frame one here. It's... So I would have a few more breakdowns so it doesn't get stuck in here. But I think that works to me a bit more. You're a bit more shooting for uh, like an overbalanced almost pose here. Then as you go forward, you have a move back and you can have something where... You know, your root could be here. Again, it's going to mess up your legs, but just generally, I'm just speaking here. As you go back, you might go higher, and then you come back down, and so on. This will not be super sweet in step mode, but as an idea, right? And you go back, and even if you go back here, oh, you might have, like, one more move back. So it's kind of like, oh. but again, this is going to be all weird and poppy because I'm not in step. Let's go back here, back here. Oh. This feels almost too fast as well. I will probably wait a bit, go a bit here, and then we're there, and you can almost have a bit less here, and then a bit more forward, and then make sure this is step as well. It's kind of like, a, oh, more like that. And even as you go back here, that feels a bit fast. Go a bit less, and then you can have a little bit more of an ease in. So let's 
step that one as well. And that could be a forward, maybe a bit less. And a bit less here. And a bit back. So it's kind of like, this feels a little bit big through there. But generally, I think this feels just a bit better. Because I like that you're, you're going too far with that move forward. And that's why you have that extra compensation here to go, let's go back and really arch that back here. But now it's always like, oh, hold, I don't want to fall back. And that's why you want to give this a few more frames here. And then you got that forward move. And if I go back in here, let me just see. Even from here to here, it might be too far in terms of what the root is doing. And you can go a bit less here. And then you have a bit more back here. So it's kind of like a... Uh, that feels just a bit better. <laughs> I like to make sounds. For me, I'm imagining in my head that I'm doing this physically. And that's why I feel like I would do a... Uh, like you want to just breathe in and hold a bit more. And then technically, as you go back, it feels also a bit too much like we're that's a curvature here and then we're just rotating forward into this where technically if you're doing in between here you might let me see what this is here is this just the chest i don't know if this is going to work but i would have a little bit of a well it would be a bit more delayed in the chest and even this here might have just a bit more delay what else do you have here must be some other controllers in here. Oh, okay. Okay, it's going to be very messy. And then you have that where I will go a bit more here. A bit more here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you do here. And then there might even be a bit more of a delay in the head even here. I'm just wondering if you really play up that. And that could be slightly delayed. So that on the return, that's when we have the drag again. And then you have that might be to counter me here, but yeah, it might be too or random at this point so that it's that that drag overlap, but feels a bit better than just going from one rotation into the other to have a little bit of this. This just feels a bit too poppy into that. So this will need some more fine tuning, but as an idea, I think feels just a bit better. Like this is where it gets a bit too neck goes forward here. So this could be something where you go back and even as here as an in between, you already have that head go back here. So as you break down and then we step this and then as you go forward again, maybe delay a little bit more. Again, this will feel very, um, what's the word? Like very much animation principally yeah it's a bit wonky towards the end but that just feels again a bit better in terms of the separation of the root chest and head and then you would just blind that you also sent me the um the polished spline version but as i'm gonna write you like i will be careful in doing something like this and then moving straight into polish because then you're spending a lot of time with potential building blocks not quite right like this section and this and then how far you go and then with the lean back like to me these are all notes that i would give you for this pass right now this uh step blocking pass and then you would incorporate that and then provide a polished version if that makes sense so i would moving forward wait before submitting a blocking pass and the polished final version because that's kind of it kind of defeats the the purpose of of you know learning step by step and incorporating notes into the next revision but i'm going to save this as always i'm going to actually send this back to you um and you got a couple more questions in your email which i will reply here with an email in written form all right and that is that thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you